most second brain notion videos just suck you watch these videos because you want to organize your life and stay productive but what ends up happening is that you become more confused after watching these videos and you don't even know where to start when building your second brain and for those that don't know what second brain is is essentially your ultimate life planning productivity system on notion it allows you to highlight your tasks for the week tasks for the day schedule quick things in your calendar track your earnings create a vision board and so much more. Essentially, it allows you to have all your lives, projects, goals, and routines in one place. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe is the most easy and simple Notion template to use. I've built this template myself for myself. And in this video, I'll show you how it was built. So you can build one for yourself just by using Notion, or you can just use the first link in my description and get it already done for yourself today. All right, all right. So at the start, we have a home page we have weekly tasks down here we have daily tasks we also have daily journal then we also have these tables for tracking we have the yearly profit tracker we have the monthly profit tracker right here and don't worry i'm gonna show you how to use all of this in just a minute and down below we have a calendar so if something comes up really quickly you can just put it down here like dentist and it shows up here i made this template with the intention to help you guys figure out your life better not only just to set tasks and be productive because staying productive is really great it's amazing but what if we don't know what to actually do to stay productive what actions should we take right this is where the vision feature comes in right here so using this vision feature firstly you're going to be able to set your three year vision i believe three years is the most optimal amount of time to aim at and this is where i would really advise you to think big and think of how would you like your life to look like in three years from now and right write everything down here. And once you have that three-year vision laid down, it's really, really important to set practical goals now that are going to move you closer towards the three-year vision. And this is where one-year goals come into play. So if your vision for the next three years is to become a millionaire, well, one-year goal for you could be is to save $100,000. After we set our yearly goal, we can get even more practical using progress folder. Using this folder, you can simply enter your yearly goal and you can track the progress towards that goal let's just use a example of one hundred thousand dollars you enter the goal here you enter the current amount right here and you enter your target right here and you can see the progress you made towards that goal and the same thing appears for you in the home page so you can always have this at your face because this is the thing you need to focus on which will eventually move you closer towards the three-year vision brain so guys if you haven't already i would highly advise you to start journaling that is the reason i created the brain folder right here inside the brain folder we have daily journal we have brain dump and we have me 3.0 daily journal is the thing that i would advise you to do daily just journal your thoughts throughout the day it could be the first thing you do in the morning or it could be the last thing you do when you finish your work day what is really important is staying consistent with it and once you do that you can select complete it right here and you're done brain dump is more so for capturing your thoughts and ideas you get throughout the day. Maybe it's a cool content idea that you got. Maybe it's a new marketing strategy to test out for your business or a new project that come to your mind. Write it down. And what I also recommend you to do every Sunday, go through those ideas, delete the ones that you think are not really that smart and leave the ones that you think have potential. And lastly, we have me 3.0. This is the place where you write things that you truly know about yourself through experience and through action. So you take action, you get feedback, and you essentially know if that's the thing that you like, which is going to give you a sense of true awareness. If you find yourself constantly procrastinating when you have to edit a video, you probably know that video editing is not really something you enjoy and so on. So you can adjust your actions and your projects based on that. Action. Talking about action, this is a place where we actually decide what we're going to do to get closer towards our yearly goal. I like to view it in seasons. So let's say it's a summer season right now. So what are some non-negotiable tasks I will do this summer that are purely in my control? And if I do those tasks, I'm assuming that I will get closer towards my yearly goal. So one of my goals for this year is to get this YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers. Well, to achieve this goal, I obviously have to upload YouTube videos. So one of the non-negotiable things I'll do this summer is upload 24 new YouTube videos. It's a task that can be measured 
measured and it also is directly correlated towards my goal. So once you make that task, you can also track progress towards it. And the same thing appears at the homepage. So it always shows up for you the first thing you open Notion. Then of course, based on that, we set tasks for the week and we chunk it even further. And this allows us not to just focus on that big goal too much, but actually focus on taking small actions every day that leads us towards that big goal that we have. Finance. Don't know about you, but I just love tracking my finance. Seeing how much money I'm actually bringing in every month, different income streams that I have, and also having a close look in my total bank account balance and my investing balance. Firstly, we have a finance tracker right here, and then we have accounts database or my accounts. In the finance tracker, you can track your profit for the current month, and then you can add that profit in the total months database. So it shows your total profit for entire year. I purposely not include expenses tracker right here solely because I've built this template for myself as I said at the start of the video and I actually stopped tracking my expenses a while ago. I do believe that tracking your expenses could be helpful for some people but me myself I developed a strong money habits that I don't really spend money on any dumb shit and whenever I'm spending money I always know that is a logical thing that I'm buying so I'm not even putting any energy on tracking my expenses where my money goes I rather invest that energy into increasing my income. But in case you want to track your expenses, what you can do is you can just duplicate one of these databases, rename it to expenses, add certain expenses right here, like rent, and you can track those the same way you do with your profits. And then we move to the accounts database, which will help you to always track how much money is in your bank account or in the investment account. I highly, highly recommend to do that. When you know what is going on in your accounts and develop this habit of tracking it, you will become a much more disciplined person in all all areas of your life. That is why this also shows up in the homepage as it is one of the most important databases of this template. Business. This is the part where I have everything related to my online business. So essentially I have a content machine which I use to save and come up with content ideas for YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. I have folder where I highlight future ideas for my business. I have storage for my products and also a place where I note down my clients and the service I'm providing to them. And the most most important part of this folder for me at least is the content machine. This is the one part I'm using the most and this will help you out a ton if you're someone who is producing content online. My advice would be is whenever you see some piece of content that you find interesting and you want to recreate similar piece of content just save it down in the content machine folder for the future. So I don't really use this folder much so I have fitness, I have content ideas, movies and shows. In fitness I usually put in interesting things I found about fitness so maybe a diet I want to try out maybe a meal maybe a fitness plan in movies and shows i put movies that i want to watch and you can highlight watched or not movies and shows of course and yeah this is the folder that i don't really use that much mostly because i don't really watch any movies and shows at the moment if you made it this far to the video i also want to let you know that i have completely free course about how you can grow your following on instagram in 2023 organically and it's going to be the second link in my description or in the first pinned comment if that interests you feel free to check it out down here and if you enjoyed this video you'll definitely enjoy it this one where I talk about how this digital entrepreneur makes $1.7 million per year with zero employees. So click here and watch it right away. Thank you for watching.